What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video will be my first iteration in a new top 10 series I've decided to start for Arma 3, the top 10 aircraft mods as of 2019, the military edition. I would just like to point out that this is largely an opinion based list and is definitely not an exhaustive one. There are tons of amazing mods out there, but I thought I'd just throw in what I truly believe to be the best bang for your download mods as of September 2019. So with that, let's get started. Here they go. There goes one. Thud Clover, delete altitude restriction. That copy's delete the altitude restriction. Uh, nobody home at the Eagle will just be dry on the range, though. Yeah, we told them. At number 10, we have Sabre's military aviation mods. Sabre always puts a lot of love into his mod packs, and his military edition is no exception. These are very niche aircraft, some of which no longer fly, having been phased out or just aren't in the spotlight that often, such as the C2 Greyhound, for example. The 3D modeling is excellent, however the visual fidelity of the aircraft skins leaves something to be desired. But there are many skins to choose from, however. This mod pack is excellent for any mission maker that wants to include historic aircraft for nostalgia's sake, or just make an interesting mission for some utility to it, like a training mission or a cargo delivery. These aircrafts have functioning pylon settings, and not only are they fully customizable, but they also work with other modded weapons packs thanks to community-based add-ons, which is required for most, if not all, mods in Arma 3. At number 9, we have BWI's T6 Texan 2 mod. Now this is a very niche mod, again, just like Saab's aircraft mod, in that it scratches a very specific itch. This aircraft is primarily focused around training missions for the Milsim community. However, the attack version, signified by the A in AT-6, is a formidable lightweight attack platform. The United States Air Force has aspired for nearly three decades to replace the aging A-10, and at one point considered replacing them with the AT-6B Wolverine light attack aircraft. Carrying a crew of two, the T-6A and C variant is the primary trainer for the United States Air Force during UPT, or undergraduate pilot training. This mod is excellently crafted, not only physically, but aerodynamically. It is an incredibly easy aircraft to pick up and fly, which makes it a great learning tool for student pilots. Any Milsim unit that has a training element in their organization would benefit from making this their first phase of flight training to generate excellent pilots. Coming in at number 8, we have Pook's Soviet Air Force mod. This mod is chock full of Soviet Cold War aircraft, focusing primarily on mid to late 80s aircraft, as well as a few modern fighters such as the Su-30 and MiG-35. Bang for your buck, this is about as good as it gets when it comes to Op-4 fighters and cargo aircraft. The weapons list in this mod is crazy extensive and works well with other pre-fall of the Soviet Union mod sets for historical campaigns. The multitude of aircraft skins, while hit or miss on quality, mean you can have a multitude of options when it comes to storytelling in your missions. United States versus Iraq or Iran? No problem. Russia versus Ukraine? Done. Pook has them all with this pack. Some just aren't the prettiest to look at, and some do stand out well. Pook's mod pack exemplifies the Soviet mindset of quantity over quality. And while that may seem like a knock against his mods, I assure you it is not. You'll see firsthand just how menacing some of these MiGs can be in a fight. Pook didn't just stop at fighters, however. There are a multitude of transport aircraft, from the Russian copy of the C-5, the AN-124, to the monstrously behemoth AN-225, capable of transporting four main battle tanks anywhere on the battlefield using working paradrop script built right into the aircraft itself. Pook's Soviet Air Force mod pack is a must-have for any avid aircraft lover in Arma 3. Flying in at number 7, we have an underdog, and one a few folks may disagree with me on, but hear me out. The Altus Armed Forces L159 Alka is a great middle ground fighter that can hold its own in a fight. 
Yes, this mod is essentially a skin of an RHS aircraft, but I love the fact that someone made a more grounded and reality version of the AAF and gave them a low-cost, medium-performance fighter instead of the high-tech Gripen that they had with the Jets DLC. The L159 does not excel in any particular category, save for maybe ground attack. It is not the most maneuverable, it doesn't have a lot of armor, and it doesn't boast the high-tech weaponry. Instead, what it has is character. This light fighter is perfect as a jet trainer for milsim units that start with a T6 and have their pilots graduate to a B-course type training in a small jet trainer before moving on to their main assigned aircraft. The 159 has good ground attack capability, being able to drop mini Mark 82s rather accurately, as well as unguided Hydra rockets and 23mm gun pods. Its air-to-air -air capabilities are no slouch either, sporting American-made AIM-9Xs and AIM-120 AMRAMs, giving the 159 a great all-around area defense fighter feel. Never underestimate the underdog, he may just be the one that hits the hardest. In at number 6 we have FFA Mods Harrier. I cannot state enough how much I love the modeling and texture work done on this Harrier. FFAA created a dirty, rugged looking Harrier as opposed to some of the pristine and beautifully clean aircraft in other mods. This Harrier has seen some shit and it keeps on going. The visuals aren't just the only beautiful thing about it, the sound is also eerily accurate, although I do believe it was ported from Arma 2. Regardless of the source, it fits in well with Arma 3. It can hold an impressive amount of firepower and its handling while at high and low speeds, allow the pilot to deliver those weapons with the engines. This mod also comes with one of the best hovering scripts in any jump jet style aircraft around, allowing the pilot to manipulate the nozzles to the down position to transition to a hover and vice versa, as well as adjust to a mid position for short takeoff if hovering isn't practical. The weapons pack that comes with this mod is very similar to the L159, save for a couple dual and triple racks allowing for more firepower per hardpoint. Fuel tanks also allow increased loiter times during extended casts or cap missions. With all of that versatility, the Harrier can jump in and out of a fight before the enemy knew what hit it. Screaming in at number 5, we have Red Hammer Studios mod packs. RHS have some of the highest quality mods you can get your hands on and their aircraft are some of the most impressively modeled you'll find in the workshop. These are about as close as you'll get, quality-wise, to vehicles from Bohemia Interactive themselves. From high resolution textures and skins, painstaking attention to detail in the cockpits, phenomenal handling, and realistic weapons packs, RHS has poured their hearts into their mods. Many Milsim units in Arma 3 run these guys as Op 4, as they represent the most realistic enemy one would actually face should the United States and Russia go head to head. This pack, while huge, is the exact opposite of the poop packs, where you're getting beautifully detailed aircraft, but only a few. The Russians were shown most of the love, and I'm glad they were. The MiG-29s in particular are beautifully crafted, and the TU-95 Bears come with a fully functioning cabin that requires multiple players to operate and eliminate targets, to include launching the stores of high explosive cruise missiles stored inside. These packs are an absolute powerhouse of beauty and effort and are incredibly fun to fly. Definitely make sure to pick these up. Powering its way into number 4, it's TTT3's SU-35. This mod is just raw power. From the afterburners to the weapons, this thing is just begging to be unleashed on its enemies. The 3D model is beautiful, the flight model itself handles extremely well. The power from those huge engines can be felt as soon as the burners light. This thing is a beast. You will be the king of the skies in this bad boy. Long range, air to air, and heavy hitting air to ground weapons give this an all aspect, all weather combat capability unmatched by many other aircraft in Arma 3. The skins are beautifully rendered and feature a few different modern day Russian Air Force libraries. The Su-35 is strictly a Russian multi-role fighter in Arma 3, so the only weapons you'll be packing with will be Russian. TTT3 and John Spartan did an amazing job 
keeping this jet grounded in reality without being too overpowered. Although you will feel invincible behind all that thrust those engines are putting out, positively add this mod to your collection. You will not go wrong. Proudly hitting the number 3 spot is Sergeant Fuller's USAF mod, available only on Armaholic. Is that annoying? Eh, only slightly. It is his mod after all, and he's very protective of his work, and rightly so. The amount of scripting he's done to get these mods functioning the way they do is incredible, and he's earned every ounce of credit he's got. His KC-135 is one of the most notable inclusions in this mod, allowing fighters to stay aloft in the AOR for extended periods of time and multiple refuelings, just like we do in the real Air Force every day. The C-5 and the C-17s are monsters of strategic movement and can literally bring the fight to the enemy, either by landing and offloading or by pair dropping in. The B-1B and the B-2 stealth bombers are an incredible addition as well, and one of, if not the only rendition of these aircraft on the workshop today. This mod adds huge strategic depth allowing mission makers the freedom to set up realistic operations that require the logistics and strategy to accomplish the given tasks. If all that wasn't enough, Sergeant Fuller has given us one of the best AC-130 gunships in Arma 3, as well as the ability to drop the MOAB, or the mother of all the bombs. This mod is almost a game in itself, and is worth every second of download time from Armaholic. Pick it up. Sitting at number 2 is another aircraft by TTT3, the F-18E and F variant. This mod will blow you away. It's one of the only fighters on the workshop with a clickable cockpit for startup, sequence, and weapon system manipulation. You'll be clicking all over this cockpit, turning it on, seeing the systems react and light up, and changing things to your liking. There's even the ability to light the internal panels for night operations, just like in the real aircraft. This aircraft is NATO's version of the Su-35. It's grounded in reality without being too overpowered. The weapons are versatile and plentiful, allowing for a wide range of missions in a single platform. Switch seamlessly from air to air to air to ground, while having the armament capacity to handle both. This mod is hands down one of the best you'll get your hands on in the workshop. It comes with a service menu while near rearmament vehicles and hangars, and has instructions on how it functions overall. The Nimitz Carrier mod is a must-have with this F-18, as it matches perfectly to the naval warfare aesthetic, and already has tons of missions ready-made, created by passionate mission makers. Do yourself a favor and spend the two minutes it takes to learn how to start this jet and get it airworthy. You will not regret a single second of it. Finally, taking the crown at number one are Firewheel's aircraft mods. It is impossible to narrow down the best, as they're all incredible. My personal favorite is the Viper, with its perfect mixture of killer looks, combat capability, speed, and overall badassness. Firewheel is one of the top modders in the Armor 3 community, with hundreds of thousands of downloads across all of his aircraft. His integrated weapon system spanning his entire mod collection is so incredibly deep that you'll spend hours upon hours seeing and figuring out what they all do and how they work. From the venerable A-10 Warthog with its GAU-8 tearing through enemy columns like a hot knife through butter, to his newest F-18C Legacy Hornet, Firewheel demands perfection from his mods before releasing. Nothing he puts out is half-baked or half-developed. You get a fully functioning weapon system that he adds more and more functionality to as the mods progress. His Patreon supporters get early access to his mods a couple weeks before they actually drop. He's even gone as far as to implement his own functionalities into the FA-181 from the Jets DLC, turning it into a lethal aerial platform. For more than it was just as the DLC aircraft. As mentioned previously, Firewheel is constantly upgrading his mods to, to look and feel better, as well as adding new weapons and skin packs as time goes on. His current project, now that the Legacy Hornet has released, is to release his Viper 2.0, an entirely 4K textured F-16 that will include a completely overhauled internal cockpit with higher fidelity textures. I cannot wait for what the future holds with Firewheel at the helm. That's all for today's video, guys. Thank you for joining me. Like and subscribe if you like this kind of content and want to see more. I plan on releasing more Arma 3 Top 10s for 2019, so please leave a comment below on what you'd like to see, and I'll get to work on making those happen.
I'll see you guys in the air.